well actually they are all digital they, they are all plugins there's ones and there's zeros but i tried to replicate an analog style digital plugin with other digital plug you know what i mean let's just do it Well, I tried to replicate analog style channel strip plugins with other digital plugins. I tried to use stock plugins, but because I use Logic most of the time, and Logic's plugins are embedded into Logic, they are not audio units or VST or anything, I couldn't use Plugin Doctor to analyze them. And I needed that to show you how I did it and why I did it. Let's start with how I used Plugin Doctor. Plugin Doctor is an analyzer for the plugins. It shows what the plugins are doing in sort of a technical, non musical way. First, I set up the channel strip as I wanted. In this case, I used the Channel V from Analog Obsession, a free plugin. I will link it down below. It's good to have, and it sounds good too. This plugin is a little bit awkward because it changes the EQ frequencies when you change the gain and saturation and such. Maybe it does on an analog hardware as well. So I, I'm not gonna complain about it. It's just something to bear in mind. So I set the settings on the Channel V plugin in Plugin Doctor exactly as I had it in my mix. And I let Plugin Doctor analyze that. The EQ, of course, but also the harmonics, the distortion, and also the compressor. It's a very gentle compressor in this scenario. And by the way, all the things you're gonna hear in this video might be a little bit subtle, but uh, I will try to make it as obvious as I can and also tell you what I hear in my more fancy studio monitors. Then I took some normal digital plugins and tried to copy the settings from the Channel V into those plugins. And I chose to use Fab Filter for this because I know that they are clean, sort of. And I also get a very good analyzer in the Pro Q3, for example. Then I saved those settings as presets and put it into my mix. And now we can start listening if my replica works or not. I've chosen a few tracks from my song Freedom for this example, and the Channel V plugin is on the drums bus. So let's start with the drums. This is without any plugin on the drums bus. It sounds like this. And with the Channel V plugin, it sounds like this with these settings. My plugin chain copy of the Channel V plugin starts with the Fab Filter Saturn 2, a distortion plugin with a subtle tube and drive at 38%. Then a Pro Q3, which copies the EQ of the Channel V. And finally, the Pro C2 is a very gentle compression. And this sounds like this. The Channel V once again. For this example, I only used Plugin Doctor. I didn't use my ears, so to speak. And I can hear a little bit of difference, especially in the, in the bottom end where I think the Channel V holds the bottom end together a little bit more than my Plugin Chain replica. I can probably adjust that by using my ears, but this was an example by using an analyzer to see if we can make a copy. I did that one more time and that was with the bass. But with the bass I chose another plugin. This is BX Console SSL 4000E from Plugin Alliance. I actually chose a bass preset and then tweaked it a little bit. And uh, it sounds like this.
and without the plugin? And my plugin chain to copy this using Plugin Doctor starts with Saturn 2. A subtle tube, once again, but drive at zero. It still adds a few harmonics, enough to replicate the um, BX console. And then we have a Pro Q3. And here I stumbled on a little bit of a problem because the console EQ isn't exactly the same on the right and left channel. They differ a little bit. I was struggling if I should make the Pro Q3 in stereo and make the EQ curves exactly the same or if I should do like an average in the Pro Q3. And because bass is a mono instrument, I chose an average. So it looks like this. The final plugin in my chain is the Pro C2 with some compression, more than on the drums. And my plugin chain sounds like this. Let's listen to the BX console once again. Once again, I hear more differences in the low end than in the mid range or high end. It feels like my fab filter chain has a little bit more muffly low end than the analog style console plugin. But I don't know what's better or not in this case. I did do one more instrument, or in this case, a vocal, where I didn't use the plugin doctor. I only used my ears to try to replicate an, an analog style channel strip. So once again, I chose a plugin from Plugin Alliance, this time the BX Console N. It's a Neve style plugin, and I tweaked it to my liking and exaggerated it a little bit. It's too much treble for my liking and so on. But that's so we can hear if my copied chain would sound the same. So with that plugin, the vocal sounds like this. Now we hear you shout. We sense your fear, we feel your pain. We and in my copy chain, I have the same setting on the Saturn as I had on the bass. Subtle tube, no drive. It adds a little bit of harmonics anyway. The EQ looks like this. I have a high pass filter, a little bump in the low end, uh, a little mid range taken out, and boosted the treble a lot. Then some compression. But this time, nearly as a limiter, just taking the highest peaks of the vocal. And my chain sounds like this. Now we hear you shout. We sense your fear, we feel your pain. We and the BX console N. Now we hear you shout. We sense your fear, we feel your pain. They are very, very similar, at least to my ears. Do you hear much of a difference? Hmm. I think it's better to use your ears than Plugin Doctor. <laughs> Plugin Doctor is good if you want to know why the things are behaving like they do, but nothing beats your ears. Nothing. Ear in Swedish is ara. Ara. What do you think? Can we replicate analog style plugins with other digital plugins or maybe even stock plugins? What do you think? Tell me in the comments. Until next time, Roger that.